Baba Nyonya Culture in a Kaluak nutshell. From as early as the 15th century, Chinese men from southern China sailed the South China Sea in search for a better life. These men settled in coastal towns along their journey, and many were drawn towards Peninsular Malaya seeking opportunities. These Chinese men married the local women and their children were called Peranaka, which means local born. The boys were called Baba and the girls were known as Nyonya. These descendants continued the traditions and religious beliefs of their forefathers, but followed the local lifestyle of their mothers, who were of Malay or Indonesian origin. The intermarriage of these two cultures gave birth to the Baba Nyonya culture. The language spoken was a patois of Malay, Indonesian and Chinese dialect, mostly Hokkien. And with the British governing the Straits settlements of Penang, Malacca and Singapore in the 18th century, English words were also used in conversations. This was when Peranakans were also referred to as Straits-born Chinese. The Babas wore traditional Chinese shirts and trousers, but later adopted a more Western style of dressing. While the Nyonyas wore the Baju Panjang, which gave way to the colourful Sarong Kabaya, complete with Karosangs and Kasokmanings. Marriages were match-made, ensuring that the couple's birth dates and horoscopes were compatible. The ceremony was very Chinese and it lasted for 12 days. The homes that many lived in were based on the Chinese shop house design, but had influences from the Malay and European cultures. The homes were furnished with the finery of the East and West, quite often to show their wealth and opulence. The Babas were well respected in society. Being educated, they held important posts in government and businesses. The Nyonyas were the matriarchs of their homes, taking care of everything in the house. The cuisine of the Nyonyas is a fusion mix of Chinese tastes with a spicy local influence and delightfully delicious. The descendants of Babas and Nyonyas are still alive and well today. In today's modern world, the customs are not practiced as they were before. But the spirit of their forefathers continues by finding new ways in celebrating the culture while remembering and respecting their traditions and heritage.